Hey everybody. So ever since my first video, a lot of people have been asking that I do an actual direct comparison between an American suburb and a European suburb. I argued that American suburbs are both ugly and terribly designed, and I mentioned briefly that European suburbs are far superior, although without really providing much of an example. So I thought I would do this video and directly compare two suburbs, one in the US and one in the Netherlands, which is famously touted for having world-class city design. The American suburb I picked is Woodbury, a place that I grew up in for several years. It's in the state of Minnesota, and it's a suburb of the capital, St. Paul. The Dutch counterpart I picked is called Wiesp. Forgive me if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Keep in mind, I've never been to the Netherlands, and I picked this place completely at random on the map to do the comparison. Let's start with Woodbury. It's a pretty typical American suburb. Vast swathes of single-family housing and winding blocks, with interspersed commercial areas dominated by massive concrete parking lots and corporate uniformity. A large interstate cuts through it all, with few viable ways to cross it, besides large strodes that go over the top. I want to start with a walkability test. It's basically a test if amenities are within a 15 minute walkable distance. Okay, so here's Woodbury. It's, uh, you know, it's not super far from St. Paul. This is the capital of Minnesota here. Um, you know, decent distance. So, if you kind of look here, you know, you see what I described. There's basically these huge kind of like residential areas that are kind of set aside from everything else. There's this big commercial area here. Um, you know, just a bunch of single family homes, these winding roads, uh, not much else. I mean, there's pretty much just residential here. There's maybe like some schools or whatever. Um, <laughs> yeah, places like that. Um, and then, you know, you go over here, you have this big interstate that goes through, you have the commercial area, you know, everything needs a gigantic parking lot, which takes up almost as much, if not more space than the building itself. Um, so that's fun, you know, but there's not really like residences here. Like I said, it's, it's separated, you know, you have the residences and then you have the commercial area and, you know. The only way to realistically get from one place to the other is by driving. At least, you know, that's how we view things in America. So, I mean, I want to kind of test it. So, let's say, I don't know. Let's say you live kind of around here. Like, I don't know, like, you could live in any any place like this. Let's say you live, like, I don't know, right? Like, let's say here, you know? So, you live in this area, um, and you want to walk somewhere or bike somewhere. Well, you know, first off, there's no sidewalks, so, <laughs> I mean, you're gonna have to walk on the road with, with cars, hopefully you're not anxious to do that, um, but, you know, let's just say if we use, let's see, search nearby, so let's say restaurants nearby, um, so yeah, like I said, I mean, they're all kind of in the commercial areas, um, yeah, I'll never go to Applebee's again. Don't ask me why. Uh, it sucks. <laughs> so let's say, I don't know, let's say you want to go here. It doesn't seem that far, realistically. Um, let's say directions um, from here, which is kind of where I picked. Um, let's see, walking. Okay, it would take 30 minutes to walk there. So that's kind of too far. Not really walkable. I mean, you could do it, but yeah doesn't really pass the walkability test. Um, and then, I mean, you know, like, you, you look at kind of like the streets that you have to walk on. There wasn't sidewalks. Uh, there's not sidewalks here. There might be here. Oh, oh, God. Look at this. Well, there's a sidewalk. So, you know, could be worse. Um, yeah, and then, you know, I mean, if you want to, like, cross this interstate here, you have to get on this, which, no, oh God, I mean, like, just, if you've never crossed one of these things as a pedestrian or a biker, I mean, I honestly, like, it sounds weird, but I kind of encourage you to go try it and just see how, like, comfortable it you feel. I mean, you feel nervous. You feel like it's just not a fun experience, and it's just not, like, desirable to do. I mean, I go out of my way to avoid this whenever I'm walking or biking somewhere. But anyway, okay, so 
Yeah, not really. I mean, biking would be kind of the same. I mean, there's no bike lanes anywhere. I mean, just, it's just not a thing in America. They don't have, like, bike lanes in suburbs or anything. Um, I mean, and even if you do, like, manage to get here on your bike, like, okay, so you end up in this kind of a place. Oh, God, this is from, like, 15 years ago. Okay. Yeah, and where's the place? Okay, so the place you want to go is, like, somewhere in here. So you have to kind of, you know, cross this giant parking lot hopefully no cars hit you on your way there um yeah i think this was it so we get to the restaurant and yeah so you want to park your bike but you know there's nowhere to do it because they didn't design this place to be used by anything other than cars which is why they have this but yeah i mean maybe you could chain it to like this fence but you'll probably get asked to remove it by the owner or something like that so yeah okay that's restaurant I mean and you know it, it's pretty similar for any other amenity I mean I'm not gonna like painfully go through every single thing because it's it's just gonna be the same um you know I could do like like grocery store and yeah I mean it's the same I mean you know it's you have to go up through here you, have, you could go all the way down here. Um, yeah, and, you know, this isn't like a fringe example. I mean, you know, like I, like I showed, I mean, everybody that lives in this area lives, like, in these houses. You know, they all live in these single-family areas where if they want to get to anywhere, Walgreens, Target, um, which are department stores, you know, you have grocery stores, you have restaurants. If you want to get to any of these places, I mean, you like, walking and biking just aren't viable options. I mean, they're just not... I mean, it's not designed that way. It's designed to get in your car and you drive to one of these places. You, you know, you get in this massive parking lot, you walk in, you get your stuff and you leave. So yeah, that's, that's how it's designed. So, I mean, that's Woodbury. That's an American suburb, pretty typical. Um, now I want to take a look at our Dutch counterpart and just see how different it could possibly be. Okay. So now we have our Dutch counterpart here, Wiesp. Again, probably mispronouncing that, whatever, but <laughs> I mean, it's a somewhat similar distance from Amsterdam as, you know, Woodbury was to St. Paul. Not, you know, about as similar a distance as you can get realistically. Um, I And keep in mind, like I said, I have no knowledge of any of this place. I've never been here. I've never researched this or anything. I mean, obviously, I've heard a lot of good things about Dutch city design and suburbs. So I thought this would be a good place to pick. Um you know, and it's not even really a first ring suburb, which, you know, you would think maybe has better connectivity to the city. It's kind of out here. I mean, there's kind of this green space. Um, it's kind of like its own little thing. It's It looks like it would be like a smaller, like in the U.S., if this was a thing, this would be, you know, 100% cars. There there wouldn't be even like a sidewalks probably. I mean, that might sound weird to say, but it's true. So, I mean, let's kind of zoom in here. I mean, you can just see from the get-go, I mean, it's like a totally different world i mean so ignoring like this i'm guessing this is like farmland or whatever um which you know everywhere has that but i mean you you don't see like like the single family dominated landscapes that we saw in woodbury i mean you see like let's put it let's put down here just kind of see i mean these are all kind of like multi-family dwellings you know they're they're not single family detached housing they're you know, they're, you know, they have different priorities here, of course. Um, I mean, even like here. Yeah. I mean, look at this, like, <laughs> just say, say hi to that dude. Um, yeah. I mean, I don't know if, I guess if these would be considered apartments necessarily or what, what technically they would be considered, but I mean, clearly it's higher density housing, right? I mean, it's not single family housing. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you can tell if the, and I, you know, I can't even really find single family housing. I mean, I don't know, maybe, no, there's not even, maybe there's some down here. Oh, it kind of really got foggy all of a sudden. No, but I mean, there's really not. I mean, it's just, you know, they're, the way that they do housing and density wise, is just a lot different, uh, you know. So, I mean, besides that, I mean, so let's kind of look at the same things that we looked at in Woodbury. So we want to see how walkable this place is. So, I mean, again, it's, it's not, 
nearly as like sprawling. So it, you might say it's not fair to compare the two because of that, but that's entirely the point. You don't want a super sprawling suburb. You want things to be more compact so you can actually have places close to you that you can walk to, bike to, et cetera. So, I mean, let's see, where was a kind of residential area? I mean, this is all residential, right? I mean, right here, okay, I'll probably just use this for an example, right? This, you know, residential area, pretty simple, straightforward. So if we do search nearby, we'll do restaurants nearby. Okay, I don't think it's technically counting all these places, but these are all restaurants. So, um, I mean, right off the bat, there's a lot of places just much closer. I um, wonder if this will make it work. Oh, oh, holy cow. Okay. So, you know, I mean, do I even have to, like, do it? I mean, these are so much more walkable, clearly. I mean, look, there's sidewalks, you know, pretty much... I would assume the whole way hold on let's see uh like if we go here this is like kind of the main street yeah look there's sidewalks there's i mean dedicated bike lanes um that you know i mean i'm assuming they would go pretty much all the way i mean look this person here is riding their bike and uh yeah you know i mean it's just like a world of difference see you could easily walk here i mean okay so let's say uh let me actually do this place and I'll just do directions um, from where was I? I don't even, I think I was here. Two minute bike ride, um, eight minute walk. I mean, and, and you could do one of these places. It doesn't look like it would be considerably, this probably would be more of like a, oops, wait, let's start over. This would probably be maybe a 15 minute walk or so. Oh, okay. Only 10 minutes. Uh, two minute bike ride. You know, these places don't look much farther. I mean, maybe 15 minutes there. Yeah, I mean, you can just, I mean, there's just so many more options and just everything. And, you know, it, it's just much more walkable and bikeable. You know, you're not forced to use a car here. You could live here without a car and you'd be fine. Um, and that, so that's restaurants. So the other thing that's, you know, I mean, I can already tell you, I mean, this is a supermarket right here. Um, you know, but if, if I were to go here and do search nearby, you know, supermarket. Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, you got them like all over the place kind of. And since it's much more compact, I mean, you, you can easily walk to all these places from if you live here. Um, or if, you know, even if you live somewhere else, I mean, there's bike lanes all over all these streets, dedicated ones in some spots. Um, you know, there there's much more options. You, again, you're not, the point is you're not forced to use a car in this place. I mean, you could live without a car. Um, you know, this covers all your food stuff that you would need with uh, restaurants and supermarkets. Um and then obviously other things too. There's plenty of other things around here. You know, there, there isn't such stark differences in like commercial versus residential. Um, and like when it comes down to, so for one, I mean, there's like sidewalks and bike lanes and all that kind of stuff. You know, I mean, like here. Yeah, totally separated from the road. I mean, look, look how far, like, this is. I mean, that's just... You don't even have to worry about cars at that point. Um, but not even just that. I mean, when it comes to these... So these green lines here, these are all, like, bike lanes. Bike-only lanes. So, like, if I'm to plop it down here, I mean, look, it's just, like, a straight bike lane on its own. I mean, so in America, we view biking as, like, a pastime, a recreation that, like, oh, I'm going to go biking for fun. We don't view it as, like, a legitimate means of transportation, right? So, I mean, you don't see these kinds of things. I mean, look, there's bike lanes, like, everywhere. All these green lines that connect, you know, you go further. I mean, they're, they're all throughout the cities, you know, everything. I mean, this is still the suburbs here. You know, I can't really. Okay, they don't really have street view. But, yeah, I mean, you see the point. Like, there's, 
cycling in the Netherlands is viewed as a legitimate means of transportation. It's not viewed as a recreation. And that's kind of what is another thing that sets us apart from Europe and then, well, the Netherlands in specific. But yeah, so I mean, you can pretty clearly see that there's a huge difference here. Um, so yeah, I want to move on now to another uh, aspect between the two. Okay, so now that that's covered, I want to go over transit options uh, other than walking, biking, car travel, things like that. Um, so especially, you know, connectivity to the city um, and also just, you know, other public transit options. Um, I'm going to keep it real simple for you. There kind of aren't any, like, period. <laughs> I mean, I know that might sound like dismissive but they're literally i mean there's not like there's no trans the only thing i could find was this one bus route here um which uh it doesn't show on google but it's kind of just like a, it does a local loop here between like the suburb and maplewood and something like that um you know and it comes like every 30 minutes or so and i mean that's it like that's literally like everything I could find in this area like there's zero other transit options there's not a single option to get into the city there's no train there's no bus there's no anything I mean unless I'm missing it which I mean I don't think so uh but yeah if you like if you want to get into the city you have to drive there like there's literally zero other option yeah I mean there's no way to sugarcoat that that's just how bad it is so um now if we move over here to <clears throat> excuse me, if we move over to the Netherlands, um, I mean, you, you can already see, like, there's, well, I'll go to this next, but, I mean, if I kind of, like, zoom in here, I mean, there's bus routes, uh, 49, there's 522, there's, you know, here's 522 again, there's just, I mean, there's more buses, there's 106, there's, I mean, there's 110, two, like, there's, like, several bus routes that i mean google doesn't show it here but i'm assuming they go all over the place um i mean already off the bat just within like seconds i can already find like several times as many bus routes um throughout the area here and um the one thing obviously that's front and center is this train station here which is the big difference i want to touch on um so this is a train station that if you follow the line here i mean it goes straight into the nether or into uh amsterdam here you know so you can get on a train from your suburb here and just go straight into amsterdam you know say if you want to go into the city for any reason you don't have to take a car you don't have to do anything like that you can just get on this train here i mean let's look at the schedules kind of i mean and, and look like amsterdam central i'm just guessing that's the central station in amsterdam i mean you know 10 minutes 20 minutes like sometimes, yeah, like every 10, 20 minutes or so, there's a train that goes into the city. Um, there's even trains that go to these other places, which, I mean, I'm assuming they're other suburbs. I'm not really sure. But, um, yeah, I mean, look at this. And this is even, well, this is at, yeah, I mean, they're, they're ahead of us time-wise, obviously. But so this is at night. I mean, this isn't even during the day. It might even be better during the day. I'm not sure. But. I mean, yeah, so you have, like, this really reliable train into the city that, I mean, you just don't have anything like this in Woodbury, in really hardly any U.S. suburbs, um, which, yeah, I mean, that, that really sets it apart there. Okay, so finally, I just kind of want to talk about just the livability of these places in general. I mean... So you, you probably saw my first video where I kind of ranted about American suburbs and why they're just ugly, lifeless, corporate, homogenous. I mean, look, I mean, Burger King, Chick-fil-A, Panda Express, you know, all the, like, it's just the same stuff everywhere. I mean, this is like, this could be anywhere, you know, it's just the same places. And the way it's laid out is you have your single family housing and you have your giant commercial areas and like that's the american suburban experience i mean it's it's terrible there's no way around that you know and so people commented on that video and they were like oh well you were you know if you compare an american suburb 
to a European suburb, you'll see that it's, you know, blah, 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 blah. Like, oh, you're comparing it to a European city, blah, blah, blah. Well, I mean, this is, again, I'm, I'm not familiar really with this area at all. I just picked this randomly. And I mean, this is, I would consider this a suburb, you know, it's a suburb. It's not super big. But I mean, like this looks like the kind of center area of the suburb here. I mean, if I just like, if I do this here, I mean, look at this, like, like it, it just looks like monumentally better. It's just not even close here. Sorry, I want to try and go over on this other side here. I mean, look at this. There's like walkable. There, look, there's people actually living here. There's like, it's, and it looks pretty beautiful, honestly. I mean, there's all these stores. Like, I don't see any like, like corporate whatever. Um, there's like all kinds of life, walkability, bikeability. Um, you know, here, I mean, this is like a strictly, like there's no cars allowed here, clearly. It's a walkable, bikeable commercial area with local businesses and you know all of that and this is a suburb I mean this isn't like a big city like so the people that were commenting saying that like what I wanted wasn't possible I mean it pretty clearly is I mean and this is just one example I mean I'm sure there's plenty more but I mean this is kind of front and center what it is I mean and this really displays the difference you know so Anyway, I've been kind of rambling for a while, but I really hope you kind of see the point here. Just the stark difference between an American suburb and a European suburb. Um, and the Netherlands, they really should be proud of this. I mean, this is a really nice looking place. I mean, I would live here, realistically. I can't quite say the same about this place. However, I was a child. I was forced to live here. I didn't really have a choice, but, you know, if I could choose, I mean, this would be a nice place to live, I think. So... I mean, yeah, I'm just going to kind of end the video there. I hope you kind of got like a different perspective from this and kind of just helps you to see what the problem really is with American suburbs and with American city design. Um, I mean, it's just overwhelming over like just what the difference is here. Um, yeah, I mean, that's the video. So hopefully this helped you to see that firsthand. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.